Working on this thing forever <laughs> since the last video. Um, as you remember, last going off, I was going to try and build a receiver with a 6AU6. Well, it didn't work out. I couldn't get that to do nothing actually. I don't even know if that tube even works. So I found another schematic online for a receiver. Um, it originally is supposed to have a Varactor diode to tune the receiver. I couldn't get the Varactor diode to do nothing. So um, Maybe I didn't have the right Varactor. I don't know But I uh, end up putting a uh, tuning cap from the transistor radio in here um, This thing has two RCA jacks on the back of it. One is for low audio output headphones and then you got a bottom one here that uh, I got the audio bumped up with another amplifier. So basically, long story short, um, you got this little section right here. That's the oscillator circuit for the receiver. Um, then you have a buffer circuit right here. And then we have a four stage, or I should say a three stage audio amplifier. You got one transistor as a pre driver, and the other three are acting as drivers. And they put the audio into the top RCA jack. Now, <clears throat> personally, I don't think it's it, it puts out 32 ohms. Apparently, it's kind of low to hear in, in headphones. So I went ahead and built myself a, another audio amplifier right here. It's basically this circuit here, and uh, it works quite well um so yeah i got an s well the vu meter was on this 
on this foam patch I just decided to want to use it again so a built-in S meter circuit right here control the uh, control the meter it just taps off the meter taps off around the audio output so you're not going to have strong signal indicator here running off the little puny amplifier audio amp in here um, if I had this like a 1 watt a 1 watt amplifier or 1 watt audio amp 1 watt out it would drive this meter a lot more but yeah so I was messing around with it, messing around with it, messing around with it, and messing around with it I've spent many days many nights many evenings uh, working on this little radio and uh, yeah, it's not a hundred percent, but it does function. What I want it to do. So the controls here. You have the. This is basically an antenna attenuator. It attenuates the RF energy from the antenna going into the circuit. Um, how effective this is, I don't know, but it does. The last. It affects the signal tuning <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, main tuning right here. And I got a couple of inductors true on the back of this thing. Just messing around, experimenting basically. Trying to broadband out the broadcast band. And <clears throat> I managed to get it to work into long wave. This transmission here is actually a long wave broadcast station, beacon. And uh, it was right on the bottom of the tuning dial here. And then we have a volume control right here. This controls only the audio out to here. Uh, this top RCA jack, I may eliminate this altogether and put the use the volume control on the main audio up right here. So we'll see. But yeah, that's uh, that's what I've been up to. Causing all kinds of grief and destruction. It's a, it's a contraption, but uh, it works. <laughs> Anyways, hope you liked the video. Uh, what did you build out of your junk box? I built this junk box radio. That's the best looking contraption you've ever seen. Might work 100%, but hey. It's doing something. <laughs>